Prince George's County Police charged a man in connection to a double homicide in District Heights. Officials say 26-year-old Kaim King is charged with killing Davion Brandon and Antonio Titano Walker. The officers found the victims on Rochelle Avenue inside a car suffering from gunshot wounds on June 1st. Police believe that King and the victims know each other. King faces first and second degree murder charges. Thank you for watching Paperwork TV. Today we have the Tony Vegas and the Jeremy Poo Kasiri story. Before we get started, please go and smash that like and subscribe button for me so we can keep these videos coming at you, Mo. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. A man named Keem King was sentenced to 125 years in prison for the double unaliving of Davian Brandon, also known as Nino, age 26, and Antonio Titano Walker, also known by his rap name Tony Vegas, age 28. This sentencing was kind of extreme, with all but 95 of those years suspended. The incident occurred in June 2019 following a rap video shoot. King, Nino and Tony Vegas had been together the previous evening filming the video. But as the sun rose on the first day of June, Prince George's County police officers found a horrifying scene in an apartment complex parking lot in District Heights. Two individuals, Nino and Tony Vegas, were suffering from blat wounds in the driver and passenger seats of a gray Honda Accord. Despite the officers' attempts to render first aid and call for backup, Nino succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced DOA at the scene. Tony Vegas was rushed to the hospital and underwent surgery. However, the severity of his injuries led to his tragic death on just eight days later on June 9th. As the feds began doing their work, they found the dog, which was later confirmed to be the firearm used in both murders. But perhaps the most incriminating piece of evidence was a cell phone found in the back seat of the vehicle. This wasn't just any phone, it belonged to King. Further investigation revealed that King had been in the rear passenger seat of the vehicle at the time of the shooting and whipped out the dog and let off shots, ending the lives of both Nino and Tony Vegas. Fast forward to May 2022, King was found guilty of two counts of second-degree murder, two counts of use of a handgun in a crime of violence, and other related handgun offenses. State's attorney Aisha Braveboy expressed her gratitude for the guilty verdict, stating that it was her job to seek justice on behalf of the victims. She also hoped that this sentence would send a clear message to those considering violence as a solution to their problems. start the 10 tonight with breaking news. A three-year-old boy shot and killed in Prince George's County. His mother was also wounded and Fox 5's Shamari Stone joins us live from the scene in Langley Park. Just devastating news tonight, Shamari. It's very devastating. The mood is one of sadness here in Langley Park. Some people started crying when they heard that this three-year-old boy died. And people tell me that the mother and the child live in this community. They actually have seen them with the stroller just going to nearby stores. Well, you look right now, the courtyard that they were walking in. Now there's a web of crime scene tape all around this area. You can see police right there, and they are talking amongst themselves with this investigation. On the other side of that fence, that is where people tell me that is where the shooting happened. And here at Fox 5, we're going to bring you closer to the scene. Let's show you that video. This is where people People told me it happened. People told me the mother was pushing her three-year-old son in this stroller walking in the courtyard in the Bedford Station Apartments on the 1400 block of Kanawha Street. Suddenly someone opened fire, shooting the mother and her son around 5.30 this evening. A detective who just so happened to be in the area heard the gunshots, responded to the scene. Police say he found the young mother and the three-year-old suffering from the bullet wounds. Medics drove the mother to a hospital. Police say she's going to be okay. She's going to survive but I'm sure she is heartbroken. Her son was taken to Children's National Hospital where he died. You're now going to hear from two young girls we interviewed with their parents' permission. One knows the mother and toddler. The other was scared when she heard the shots fired. I feel very sad because like every morning I, when I go to school, I see her going with her baby, leave, her, leave him to, the, to his babysitter. And when I come back from school, I see them together. And now that the baby is killed, um, we will never see them again together. I heard gunshots from my 
on window in the kitchen around 5 30 and then it keeps on hearing and that's all i heard but then there was police coming up and down and like we need more security around here because it's dangerous for people like a woman a baby that's too much and we're going to do all we can to get the perpetrators of this senseless act of violence this needs to stop in our community this is totally unacceptable unacceptable and devastating it really as a father hurt to hear those two young girls just describe what they experienced after school one at home the other just walking home from school devastating. Well, Prince George's County police are determined to find the shooter or shooters are still trying to determine if it was one, two, or three people involved in this who fired these shots. They say that people in this community, someone knows what happened, and police want to hear from you. The department is offering a reward of up to $25,000 for information that leads to an arrest and a conviction. I'm Shamari Stone in Langley Park. Back to you, Jim and Angie. Next, we have a sad story about a two-year-old boy losing his life due to gun violence. In PG County, Maryland's Langley Park area, a group of armed and masked men descended upon a grassy field area, turning an innocent after-school ball game into a nightmare. This story begins on a seemingly ordinary day. Parents watch their children play, the air filled with the sound of laughter and the casual chatter. Suddenly, the peace was broken by a rapid succession of flat sounds. Panic ensued as parents raced to bring their children to safety, while others watched out their windows onto a gruesome scene. A two-year-old boy had been fatally wounded. His 17-year-old mother, also shot, wailed in agony as a police officer tried desperately to resuscitate her son. Two groups had been hitting at each other with the dog when stray bullets struck the mother and her child, turning an ordinary day into a scene of horror. Fast forward to the next day, the police announced they had apprehended two suspects in the case. Israel Fuentes Jr., a 33-year-old, and Johnny Alejandro Turchos, a 28-year-old, both from Lewisdale. They are now facing charges of first-degree murder and related crimes. However, the story doesn't end here. The police are still on the hunt for other suspects involved in the incident. The investigation revealed that four people, including Fuentes and Turcios, had arrived at the scene in a free car gold SUV. They stepped out and opened fire at another group, which retaliated. During this exchange of bullets, the young mother attempted to flee the scene with her baby, but both were caught in the crossfire. Justice is still being sought. The police later found the free car SUV and recovered an AK-47 style weapon that matched casings found at the scene. The two accused individuals, Fuentes and Tercios, are currently in police custody. That's all we have for y'all today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the stories we had for you today. Please be sure to comment what you want us to cover next.